Steve here, Shenlanco Productions. I got this uh, ready powered uh, 423S compact balance charger here. I seen it and uh, it looked pretty cool because I was thinking of a beginner or someone who doesn't know too much about uh, lipo cells, charging the amps, uh, the uh, peak sensitivity millivolt settings and all that. This is supposed to be, you just press one button, select the uh, type of battery and press the button and charge it. And it's supposed to pick the amps and everything for you. Here's what it does right here. It's a 35 watt charger. It says maximum 4 amps. And you could charge Lipo and Life 2 to 3 cells and Nickel Metal Halide NICAD at 1 to 8 cells. So I thought this would be good for probably a beginner or someone who just doesn't know too much about charging the batteries like all the specs and what you should use and it'd be simple to use in uh, one press of a button so I'm gonna open it up and then I'm gonna do some testing on it and I'll let you know how it works let's take a look inside here give you a couple plugs there instructions more plugs okay this only plugs into a wall so it's not you can't use it in your car or anything like that but it comes with a Dean's plug and then they give you adapters I guess this is for like a, a small Tamiya type plug. I think like airsoft guns and stuff use that in the little micro cars. And they give you a JST type plug. And the standard Tamiya. So that's pretty good out of the box for the price. This is, uh, I think it was under $40. So yeah, it has LiPo, Life, Nickel Metal Halide, NICAD. And a press of a button. It's really small. It's like uh, actually just the size of a power supply itself. And here's the instructions. Alright, I'm just going to turn this on real quick. I'll be right back just to show you what the lights look like on it. Okay, I just powered it on. And it uh, lights up the first light, is the green one, is Lippo, it's set to when you first turn it on. So, I'm gonna just going to hook this Lippo hair on it and see what it does. Put it in the 2S port. Alright, now, you're supposed to be able to pick the battery setting by pushing the button life nickel metal halide nick add so I'm gonna pick lipo then supposedly let's see how this works you hold it down it turns red it's supposed to be charging alright I've been testing this charger all day now I charged every type of battery except for the nick add, nick add battery and it seemed to work good um, I got specs written down so I'm going to try to go through it the best I can. The first test I did was with, uh, let me just get this so you could see it better. Um, Alright, the first test I did was with the, uh, 3000 Lippo and, uh, they're a few years old so I don't know. This may be why this charger here, the new one I'm testing, took a little longer. But anyway, the high tech times four at three amps because they're 3,000. I said at one C, this auto detects it, so I don't know what that did it at. But um, it took 48.35 minutes, and in this one took one hour and one minute. But that was a different battery, but they were two the same type. So I figured, oh, let me try the same battery I charged with this one. 
so I put it back down to storage mode level that's what I did with both of these in the beginning so I put it back down the storage uh, level on the high tech and I charged it again and it took one hour and two minutes for the same battery that the high tech did in 48 minutes long so uh, that's like 13 14 minutes longer on the the ready charger here um, but when I discharged it off the ready charger to the storage mode again it came out with 85 more milliamp hours off off the ready charger but here's the deal with this ready charger what I think may happen why it takes a little longer sometimes when you have older batteries sure I could set the amperage to what I want on this three amps it's gonna pump three amps into it no matter what and get it charged this charger may sense that the battery is a little used and and maybe not put its full amperage into it maybe it'll put two and a half amps or something and a little lower so that's what I think is happening when you have used batteries I think this will put a little less amperage it'll take that's why it takes a little longer okay on to test number two I used a 3000 milliamp uh, nickel metal halide packs these are basically new I used them like three times and uh, I charged them on my onyx 245 at 3 amps and this one on nickel metal halide mode press the button that's all you could do well anyway I had them both discharged to the same voltage and uh, so what I did was I charged them in the in the uh, ready a charger took 48 minutes point 25 and the battery came off at 126 degrees and then the Dora tracks took 54 minutes a little bit longer at 122 degrees the batteries came off at but these are the same same brand of battery but one could actually be a little better or worse so it's that they're close anyway it worked pretty good on that and uh, this charger here and I measured it with a temperature gun and it's getting like a hundred and thirty degrees it runs a little warm and it has a funky smell coming out of it it, it probably will after a while when you keep using it not sm smell anymore but it does have a funny smell so what do I think of this charger eh. Let me see here. I think for someone who just wants a charger and just wants to press the button and that's it and then you you charge, I think it's good. I think it would work good on newer batteries like I said with the lipos and stuff, but I think on older batteries a standard charger will charge them up faster like how how my uh test shown there. So, I don't know. All in all, I guess it works all right, I guess. So uh, kids would probably be good to have this charger because it's easy for them. Or like I said, anyone who doesn't really know how to set up charge parameters or anything like that seems to work all right. So I don't know. It's up to you, whoever's looking at this video. If you want something like this, I guess you could go for it. You know, it's simple to use. And you don't have to worry about if you put something on wrong, the, the wires or the uh, voltage or the cell count or anything. You don't have to worry about none of that. Or, and, and I guess it'll be safer. And, and like I said before, with older batteries, it probably does charge at a little less current because it probably senses your batteries are, are a little worn. So I guess it's safer that way also. So all in all, I guess it works all right. So it's up to the user if they would want to purchase something like this for simplicity of use. Just want to add something here. Quick note on the charger. Some people may be asking, oh, how could you uh, store the lipos? It doesn't have no store mode or anything like that. Well, you really don't have to put your uh, lipos at 3.8 or 3.8.5 volts per cell. 
to store them unless you're not going to really use them for a long time. So if you're going to use your lipo like next week or something, you could probably just leave it at the lipo cutoff from when your car was running. But I would just put it on the charger for like four or five minutes and give it a little more juice in the lipos. That way you'll be on the safe side because you really don't have to store them at uh, 3.85 unless you're going to store them for months on end or maybe even a year. But it's a good to get one of these uh, buzzers with the voltage reading because you could, uh, after you run your car, if you know you're not going to use your battery for a couple weeks or so, you could just put the battery on the charger for a few minutes and then plug this onto your LiPo uh, balance port and set the voltage to what you want. Say if you want it like 3.6 volts per cell because you're going to use it in a little while. Or if you're going to store it for... Who knows, a year, you could put it with this thing set at the 3.8 volts per cell, and then it'll be good that way, so you don't really need a storage mode if you have a handy little buzzer like this beauty right here. Alright, there's been a whole lot of testing going on today. Shenlanko out, see you next time.